Chris on Beck was out of positions podcast, and uh, I got have Carlos Munoz here. Yes, he, sir. He yes, came sir. From Philly, he came yesterday. Yes, sir. Right? Uh, first and foremost, thank you for inviting me on your show. You know, um, I'm looking forward, you know, to 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 getting to know you more and yeah. um, telling you a little bit about myself and my life and my journey. Yeah. You know, for 41 years of my life, so I'm I'm ready to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Jose Carrero here. And he's, I work with him. He's my coworker. We're partners, actually, I work. Funk Philly also. Yeah. Never now, Lee's Berg. Yeah, yeah. And you're actually hosting him for some kind of tournament this weekend, yes, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. We, we're going down to Sebring, uh, Florida for a big tournament. Oh. It's a uh, tournament comes around uh, every February, first weekend of February. Okay. Every year. One of the biggest yeah. softball tournaments in Florida. Over 80 teams. Wow. And this is the first time me and my brother link up. Yep. Here Definitely. in Florida, yeah. yes, and it's gonna be my first time ever playing with my son in the same team. Oh man, that's so a I'm, I'm, thing. Look, I'm looking forward to that. That's a, a dream as a father, ball that's player, exciting. to play with your son. Yeah, that's yeah you know, that's suit exciting. up with the same uniform. Looking forward to that. Now you playing on the same team you've been playing on like since we've been working. Cause I know you you switch hey, teams. Hey, I bounce around from team to team. Yeah, but love the sport of <laughs> softball, baseball. Yeah. Um, but it's going to be the first time me and my son playing together and oh, nice. playing again with my brother Los. Yeah. yeah. So, wait, yeah. what does your team feel about this, like, back up? No, no, they, they know, you know what I mean? As long as you you, you go get your reps, you know, and, and represent yourself. And, um, you know, my team is on Saturdays, you know, this is something way different. I always got invited the last few years, and um, mm. I, I never had the chance, but now, now I'm excited, you know. I'm, I'm looking forward to tomorrow, you know, seeing new players, new talent, you know. And um, it's blessed to still be able to play this game, you know, at this age, you know, especially with my knee injury that I had when I was younger, when I was 17, 18. And, um, oh, you know, I, I, oh. I tore meniscus oh. high, playing high school basketball. So I was a two sport athlete. Dang. And, um, you know, basketball was my blood, sweat and tears. It was my, <laughs> you know, like I used to fight, you know, the, I, I love I love the game. I love the speed. And I was always hyperactive growing up. So um, that changed me a lot. But um, when I got that injury and then that now to, to still feel that, it's just like brings brings back memories, you know? I got you. So with I the, got you. Uh, uh, having arthritis and, um, you know, trying oh, yeah. to heal in time, you know, to be able to play the next day. But uh, one day at a time. Yeah, a yeah. Time. And you guys played baseball together in high school? Or? We definitely yes. did. We definitely yes, did. We did. Um, I met him when I was a freshman. I, he was uh, a sophomore. A sophomore. And... Um, you know, I was just this kid, like, man, I'm excited to go try out. You know, you get nervous, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. I'm like, man, but I, I got to go out there and show my game. I showed my game, and the coach was like, hey, you know, um, what shift you got? Because it was first shift and second shift. I was like, look, I got second shift. He's like, don't worry. We're going to start. We're going to change you up. Yeah. You're going to start first shift because uh, we want oh. you on the team, you know? And I, nice. that was a, the best feeling in the world nice. to be able to play shortstop for four years and um, represent my high school. Wow, that's, yes, that's amazing. Yes, when we, that year, when we started playing together, you know, we got this little hood kid coming to Kensington. <laughs> you, know, you know, I didn't know who this kid came from, but my little cousin went to the same school as him. Yep. He joined the team also. Middle school, yep. Middle okay, school. so that's how me and him became a little bit close, and then yep. a little year went by. We've been stuck together ever since 96. It's, it's, Dang. Nothing can change that, no matter what, through the good and the bad, you know, ups and downs. We always together. We always give each other advices, you know. Wait, what do you mean I, he, he, my, he my big brother I've never had, you know what I mean? Like, okay. that's my big brother, you know? Yeah. Like, I have a younger brother, but you always want that step up, you know, because you learn so right. much from him, you know, growing yeah, up. And yeah. How humble he is, how he take care of his family, how he loved his, you know, his, his side of the family, how he treats my family, and um, the bond would never break. The thing is, like, Never. between me and him, we talk. You sound like we arguing, uh -huh. but uh, that's just <laughs> the love we have for each other. Yep. Uh, yeah. Have we argued? Plenty of times. Plenty yeah, of times. Yeah. And yep. we don't care who's around each who we're, we're in front uh -huh. of. If we're going to argue about something, we're going to get it out of our chest right there and there. Yes, sir. And the next, you know, 10 minutes later, okay, what we, yep, yep, yep. What we talk, what we had to talk about, just go, you know, have fun there. And, and the best thing okay. is... Like you say, talk about it, move on. But the most important thing, never, never, not once we ever put our hands on each other. Not no pushing, not none of that. Okay. You know what I mean? And, yeah. and that's the respect that we have for each other to so, this day. So 
you guys value your respect. And oh, yes. 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 One thousand percent we do. And, and that's and, the most important. And the one thing that we do to everybody is we don't introduce ourselves as friends. No. To like our new our new friends. Like say, for instance, with you. Hey, I want you to uh, put my brother Los in the podcast. Right, no, right, right, right. That's never my I friend, call, never. Yeah. That's my brother. We're not blood, but I love him as a brother. So. And he always tell me that, yo, out of position, they need you on the podcast. I'm like, all right, I'm with it, you know? And, yeah. and, and finally, I'm here. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah. finally here four I, months later. I think you had to kind of bring him here because uh, he wasn't, he was kind of nervous to come. Uh, no, I know, I was too. And, and it's crazy because you wanted to do it over, uh, what's the, the Zoom? Zoom. Yeah, 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 yeah. But now you're here. Now so I'm it's here. A hundred times better. Better, right? yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yes. So, so, like, what. what when you said some of the good and bad, what did you mean by the bad? Like, what are some of the bads that you guys went through? Because you guys have been friends for a long time, and friendship, you know, is something important in life. Like, I think we can all value somebody that I, we can... I think, for me, the on. bad, I think it's just growing up in our neighborhood. You know what I mean? Well, well what do you mean? No. Like, I grew up here. Like, I lived eight blocks down the Everybody road. Everybody knows Philly. F- F- Philly used to North be... Philly. Okay. Yeah, North Philly. North Philly. You know, okay. the drugs, the, the yeah, sticking yeah. people up, the, you know, walking out of your door, looking around, you know, you it, right. it's, it's a lot, you know what I mean? Like, and, and, and it just took over, the, the, the drugs took over our city, man, and it's hard. Like, we got so many talented kids out there, and yeah. we need more, more programs to help them out, you know? Like, um, I, I train a few kids, you know, like I said, I wish I had my own facility, my own space, but the parks are free, you know? The only yeah. thing is that nowadays that, you know, the people take over it. They, they trash it. They, they lock mm. the gates. Mm. How are we supposed to take our kids out yeah, there, you know? Yeah, and either. teach them how to grow up. Not because of baseball sports, to how to be better young men, you know? Right, Growing right. Growing up. But um, the good always outweighs the bad. Like, yeah. But I appreciate everything we go through, you know? Like, like was there no help from the government with this issue? Because, like, that's their, you know, duty and role. And I'm, a big I, I'm, not a, I'm not a big politician person man it's just yeah. like you know we know who got money and who don't got money oh, yeah. you know what i mean oh, who can yeah. do this or who can do that yeah, yeah. Just, it, it's about the community getting together to, to push that you know I but a lot you. of people don't they just it is what it is basically it is what it yeah. is like yeah north philly is tough yeah. yeah and us growing up you gotta learn how to fight if you don't know how to fight no nope. you're gonna definitely learn Yep. One day or another, one way or another. You have you guys learn. ever been jumped before? Oh, I have. Yeah, I have too. I got times. chased plenty of times. You know, my neighborhood. Um, you know, we got shot at. Oh, I got shot at a couple times. Well, I ain't, I ain't <laughs> get to that point, but I had a couple guys pulled out on me. But thank oh, God, you know, like yeah. we, we we here and safe, man. Yeah. Um, I I got in trouble before carrying a firearm without a license. You know. Oh. Um. Cause like I said, you grow up in the, and you grow up in the inner city. You you need the gun. You know what I mean. You yeah. think you you, you got to protect yeah. yourself, and then you being somebody you not. You know what I mean. I was yeah. being somebody I'm not. You know what I mean. Like if it's my time to go, it's my time to go. Right, right. But, you can't stop. You know, I, you mess up your record trying to be somebody you not. You know. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. So you you learn, you learn, man. Like you learn, you definitely and, do. In Philly, there's a lot of people that are followers, not leaders. Yeah. Mm. They they rap and do things that they see on a daily basis. They think they think that shit's cool, but in reality, it's not. Mm. Not only you hurt them, they they hurt themselves. They hurt their family and whoever is around there in their inner circle. I got you. But now, the younger generation, they're going to do the same thing you was doing. Yeah, yeah. So that's how Philly is right now. Philly, you know, is so fucked up nowadays. I'm talking my son out there. Yeah. You know, my son, yeah, he lived with me for almost a year yeah. here in Florida. Yeah. But he told me for his last year he wanted to go back and he was a little bit home safe and more right, right. Yeah. with his friends, which yeah. is okay. Yeah. Hopefully, he'll go get, go to a college and experience that life yeah. and get out the hood again. Right. Do you think that's important for his little vehicle? Yes, yes. Future? Yes. But there's nothing there, Philly. Yeah, yeah. How you feel because you live there, man. Like, yeah, yeah um, you stay yeah, in there it's currently. hard for me. Like, you know, I'm a truck driver, and my wife also works. You know what I mean? Shout out to my family. I love them a lot. You know, um, 
thank my wife for always being there for me, man. She's been my backbone. But we get scared for my son. You know, my daughters, when they used to be together in this high school, but now they're in college. I mean, you know, the oldest one is a uh, uh, sophomore. The second one is a freshman. Then our son, now he walks to school by himself. He's 13. He don't have yeah. friends to walk with, you know, in Dang. groups. You know, at least yeah. that you with people. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. So you, so you be nervous. Like, right. if my dad not working, he'll take my son to school. You know what yeah. I mean? But you know, work, it's just man. walking by yourself. You don't know what happened. You know what, man, what can happen. So Have you seen, uh, so this is something. That we I love Philly. Don't get it wrong. Oh, no, I'm no, telling no, you no. now. I, I understand. We love Philly. We represent, I represent <laughs> Philly all day. I, I understand. I love my city. Um, but we got to do better. Like we always say, you got to do better. Yeah. You know? It's improvement within. Yep, yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, so, like, uh, me and Jose talk about this a lot. But, like, yes, have sir. you seen the people walking, like, on the side of the road here? Like, 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 here? <laughs> yeah, like. I ain't seen nobody walking. Oh, man. You'll see these people walking, and they'll just be walking for 35 miles wow. until the next town. Like, yeah, wow. remember, remember you'll see one person walking, and there's nothing there. Like, uh, where are you walking to? Yeah, I mean, I drove with, you know, with your wife yesterday or whatever. Like, I ain't really seen nobody walking, but may maybe it's because I'm not paying attention. Yeah, right? yeah. But, hey, you got to be in shape. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. You got to do what you got to do, you know? How cold does it get up there in Philly, like, at this time? Um, well, it's February. It's my, my birthday. Mine just turned 41 last week. So oh, February, shit. Happy yeah, birthday, yeah. man. Thank you. Uh, you know, um, the weather... Right now, it's up and down over there, but when it's cold, it's cold. I could say it drops to about like five below. Yeah, yeah. And all depending yeah. on the wind chill. Yep, yep. And you brought your dad down here to Florida with you? Yes, this is his first time visiting Florida. He's yeah. excited, you know? Yeah. So he, he, he come to support us, you know? He treats Nieto like a nephew, you know what I mean? Right, that, right. And, you know. That's family. Yep, that's, that's family. family. So um, my father loves them just like I love them. Right. Is he so. from Philly or? My dad, yes, yes. Um, nice. he, he's originally from Puerto Rico. Okay. But he, he, he moved over when he was like probably like 16, 17. Okay. Still with his uh, brothers. You know, they all came from Puerto Rico. Um, That's awesome. He, he's also a baseball player. Um, everybody always tell me stories about him. One hell of an outfielder. So, yeah. They, in Spanish, it's called Conejo. But in English, it's rabbit. So oh, they okay. say he had a lot of speed. So I, I oh. seen him a couple times run yeah. when he was young. He was pretty fast. But that, that's his nickname, at Conejo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, nah, he wouldn't even, I mean, he wouldn't have to worry about you from what I heard of yesterday's practice. You know? <laughs> <laughs> he was calling me trash yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> what happened yesterday? He know, always do that. <laughs> uh, he does that to push us, you know, because he know what we bring to the table as I players, you. you know. So, um. I see my. I don't see myself as a power hitter. I'm. I'm a gap to gap guy. You know. I, I love to get my Man. base hits and and if I can take yeah. two, I'm going to take it. If I can't, yeah. I'm keeping myself. In Are you first pretty base. quick at the base running? No, no, I not mean, not like before. Like you know, before. like before. Oh, okay. But I, I, if I'm getting a hit, like I said, if I could beat it out for a double, I'm going to take it. Okay. Nose no job is to get on base because big dog coming up. I'm always <laughs> behind him, and he knows. Once I, I'm at my bat, yep, he's yep. going to score. I got you. One way or the other, he's going to score. Dang. Definitely. So when we was playing so many years together, that was a routine. He'll bat third, I'll bat fourth. Yep. Wow. And that, that's the two positions right there. Like, you know, that's it, top dog hitters. Yeah, I'm sorry to say. His job was to get on base. Don't yeah. worry about it. I got you, bro. Yep, yep. So what position do you play? Because you pitch. You can do everything uh, yeah. from what you well, say. Softball-wise, I pitch and pay third. Okay. And first. Okay. But when we and Los was playing together, I was third base. Yep, yep. And I was shortstop. Um, like I said, my range is not the same, you I know, you. lateral wise. But um, I, I consider myself a utility player now. So if they need me somewhere in the infield, whether it's first base, I'm there. You know, a little bit of right field, but other than that, third, short, second. You know, that mainly for my team on Saturdays, I'm the third baseman, starting third baseman. I got you. Uh, I didn't see some people rip some stuff down that line. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know I mean, it. it you got to have balls to be at third base, especially yeah. in the softball world. You got to have good reflexes. Yes, sir. Yes, now sir. that ball going to hurt you. Yes, sir. <laughs> so there's that good of players going to this tournament, you think? Or like? There's players coming from all over the states. All over the states. And all you gonna, the you're going to see some ex-MLB players. You're going to see some current MLB players. Yep. What? You're going to see yep. some current college kids. Yep. This is top notch. You know, the and prizes is going to be over 10 grand. But that's not even counting 
the bets you see at the fields. Oh man, it's gonna be so much money out there that you know spectators gonna go out there and just say, "Hey, I got a thousand dollars on this team to win this game." Right, right. You know, and he witnessed it firsthand. This is my first time yeah. coming around. Oh man, and you got guys that will hit a home run, and the coach will throw money at home plate. Here, that's for you for hearing that home run. Dang. That's you know, there's so much money involved in this tournament. Dang. And it's, the atmosphere is so fun. And it's a learning experience and too much competition. You just got to bring your A game. Man. Yeah, because, that. um, like, being in the city in Philly, it's not just those players. You know what I mean? You got you could travel to New York, you know. There's a right. lot of good players. I, I face a lot of good players, too, man. And we're still going at it. Okay. Yep. Do you think it's different though? Because like down here, we can practice all all year long. Yeah, you know? that's, that's an advantage. No matter that's what I told. That's what know. I told him. Like in Philly, you gotta find places to go to. You okay. gotta pay yeah. by the hour to go in. <laughs> oh, man. You know, you're not gonna go out to the field five or below to try to get a ground ball that is solid, frozen. Right. So you gotta pay to go indoors. You know, hey. we got a little softball club. You know, shout out to. Puerto Rico stars. I've been with them for 14 years. He's been with them oh, for a okay. long time. Yeah. Um, they going on 40 years, you know. My yeah. dad played back then, but we have a softball club, so we go in there, you know, we get our workout in. I mean, it's not right. the same, you know, live pitching, well, but right, we, right. we still get our, our hits off, yeah, you know, just yeah. to see the ball, get our timing, yeah. get a little bit of ground balls, workout, you know. Right, I got you. Now, you I'm like, the fitness instructor of the team. Oh, damn. <laughs> I'm mad. I ain't even going to show up. Yeah. I know. If they show up, they show up. If they show up, but, yeah. you know, I always love to help out. And I'm like, I, I see my son playing, you know what I mean? Like, I had him since uh, uh, T-ball, and he missed two years. He missed um, when he was six, and then he missed COVID. Okay. Um, he, he, he likes to play. I mean, he's not fully in love with it. Right. And, uh, um, like, dedicated, because, you know, that's not the only thing. And I don't want to put my love... For the game, right, um, right, you know, right. The pressure. Yeah, you ready? Yeah, you want right. to go out there? Come on, yeah. let's go. Um, yeah, if not, you know, whatever. But that that this is a beautiful thing, man. To just help out, help his teammates out. You know, train them because a lot of kids don't have that. Right, right. You know, yeah. like two weeks before the season start, they only have two or three practices. You know, yeah. so they, a lot yeah. of the boys don't practice in the winter time. Nah. So it's like starting all over again. So mm-hmm. now you got to. Show them the bases, you fundamentals, fundamentals. you yeah, know. Yeah, a lot like of them don't know how to bunt, so you know. But it's a lot of good kids that that's naturally talented, though. You know, yeah. that, that can play, but yeah. it's the little things they need to learn. I you got know? you. So I, I love to do it, man, and I'm gonna continue to do it as much as I can. Um, like I said, in all good good terms, come around. Hopefully, I can get something. You know. Yeah, yeah. What do you mean get something? I I, I would love to have my own facility. What do you mean? Baseball facility. Why don't you have one though? Like, what stops you? Like, I, you I, you did ask me that question, but that's the thing. You, you you gotta have money behind you. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Your finance gotta be right. You know, my my finances Somewhere. ain't there yet. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, sometimes it's better to risk other people's money. You know? Yeah. Like, you you right about that. Sometimes it's just I'm just saying, like, well, 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 just just like mm-hmm. from example though, because you guys been doing this fourteen. That's a long time. I had that blue truck out there for 14 years. Wow. That's a crazy long time. Yep, yep. So, like, this is your passion. So, like, why Definitely not follow your passion. passion and then just make it known that it's going to be successful? Like, because sometimes success is destined. Mm-hmm. Right, yep, yep. And, like, um, I don't think you have... Uh, the one thing I think have holding you guys back is you guys are not together. Because you true. guys are, you know, yep, yep, uh, yep. a little bit away. That, that's how I see boring. it. Like, like I don't, I don't have that, you know, like that jump yet. Yeah, to yeah. It. But like, I think once you're down here, or if you ever do move down here, I think that's something you guys should really plan out. And that's something we always talk about because yeah. not only just us two, I have my another good friend of mine, Joey. Joey. Yeah. Uh, with us three together, working three different departments. Like, say for instance, Joey is all around trainer. Yep, yep. Right. Los is a, 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 a physical and also an infielder trainer. Yeah. I got a lot of knowledge of, of cat working with catchers. Mm. Yeah, Just that's three, true. You got three coaches right there. That, well, four, because I'm an accountant, so. You know, yeah, boom. Of course. Of course. Yeah, that's not, that's <laughs> you know, not. so you got 
Yeah, all you, these hands that we could form something beautiful down here. Yep. Yeah. And with the connection Joey has with the MLB. Yeah. You know, can we get stuff, you know, handed to us? Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. Know, that's that's yeah. if we really want to build something. Right, right. And the only person we're waiting on is on Carlos. So, you know. You're not lying. Yeah. You he know, always say that. I always, you got to move always, down here. You got to move down here. I always tell him, look, you move down here, we'll build something, something crazy. Yeah. You know, and there's so much talent out here. Well, you got, you hey, already have hey. a brand, right? Like, so. Yup, yup. Respect the stick sports, you know? Yeah, see? Uh, you, you never stop it? dreaming, you know what I mean? I so these that. kids never well, stop dreaming. Nice. I actually bung you a shirt. Oh, see? <laughs> you didn't have to do yeah. that, man. There you go, there oh, you go. Man. Never like, stop dreaming, I baby. I like this material, too, man. Oh, it's beautiful. Man. You're welcome, man. Um, yeah. You know, like, it, it, like yeah, I told... You guys both make shirts. You guys already have the merchandise, <laughs> like... Yeah. There's only one it's a, more. It's step, another skill you know? set. Yep. It's know? another skill set. Yep. You guys are really good at. And we got. And, and I got my nephew. He know how to make shirts too. <laughs> yeah. So right, he got two certified. Yep, Thank you, sir. So you welcome. Much. You welcome. Really appreciate yes, sir. Um, like, like I said, I would love to move down here, right? It feels like it, I tell him it feels like I'm not. I'm not done with Philly. The only reason why, like, the, the kids need help. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of yeah, it's a lot of facilities, you know, dependent. Do you feel like well, that's I, a I think in in our area, North Philly, we need to build more for those kids. Like you always say we, like you feel like that's a lot of burden on your back too. Like you, you carry some of that burden as you um know what I mean? Cause like, like I I have, you know, a couple of dads that 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 always help, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, shout out to Chavo and um my buddy Rob. You know, and I have parents that's that's behind me too that that support that you. trust me and yeah. support me with they with they boys, you know, and that and that's a good feeling. Yeah, yeah. You know, um Yeah, man, it, like you said, I, I sometimes you gotta take the, the leap of faith, you know, but I feels like if I leave to come down here, I felt like I felt the kids yeah, you in, them. in the in yeah. the city. Because you know? the, the yes. thing is, Lowe's um also coached thirteen U. Oh, he has okay. a thirteen U team that he's been coaching, training. Wow. And that's how he says those kids. Yep, those yeah, kids. And the thing okay, is, okay. there's not so much help for home, meaning the city. The, they, 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 there's no kind of funding, no kind of backup. You know, you have to be yep. on their asses mm. just to get a penny. That's crazy. You know, the city don't fix their the the public um baseball fields. You know, there's so much glass, glass needles, you know, you I know. gotta go out there and, and the one field I live by, I gotta go out there and use the rake to fix the fill up really nice in the summertime when I was doing uh, uh training camps for the boys. Yeah. I got to go out there, you know, it's, it's not like here. I, I I went yesterday to you guys field. It, it, it's <laughs> and I'm like I'm amazed. It's beautiful, you yeah, know, it's yeah, like yeah. there's a bunch of them too. They they got good fields in Philly, you yeah. know, a lot in South Philly, Northeast, yeah. you know, and Maybe like one or two in yeah. our area, but like not all not of them, you yeah. know. So yeah, and then you know you got people that don't take care of them, you know. This is like it's a band, you know. This is sad because it's a lot of good boys that know how to play baseball. Yeah, you know. So yeah. now uh, I'm gonna ask you a question. Okay. Do you feel like because uh, I know why I left baseball? Mm -hmm. It had a lot to do with politics. Mm -hmm. I guess I played baseball really well, you know, exceptional, but. Mm -hmm. The coach's son was also that position, so <sighs> you know I got booted away from that position. Okay. So that's what happened. And uh, do you feel like that happens in North Philly? I just, I know for a fact it happens down here. There's so much drama. When you here. playing inner city baseball, yeah, I don't think it's politics. But if you want to take them out from that area yeah. and go put them on the top teams, it's politics. Politics. Yes. You, you know what the main politic is? What? Our skin color. Oh. You go outside the city, they'll look at your skin. For, they'll pick you Dang. over me any day. Dang. Even though I will hit better than you, I'll throw better than you, and I'll feel better than you. But they'll look at our skin color, but they'll pick you that's over crazy. me. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's Had bad. that happened to um, me before? Plenty of times. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I felt like that when I, when I went to Bloomsburg and I got red shirt in my freshman year. You know, they always tell you, you're the number one recruit, you know, Division Two. I yeah. was a Division Two shortstop. Yeah, nice. And um, I'm going to tell you something. I was the first Hispanic player at Bloomsbury University ever recruited. 
wow. upstate PA. Yeah. That's crazy. We wow. have one African American guy. We played against each other in high school. He, hey. he did a hell of a job. He made last cuts, you know. Yeah. Shout out to Keon. Um, okay. Man, we was to get together. So we, it was me and yeah. him, you know, against. Yeah. Just, you know, like, so it's oh. like. And I had that one coach. He had to be, you know, I know he was military, but he used to be on my ass for any little thing. And it's just, I don't know if he was pushing me to be better or he was just picking on me. Right, you know, right. so. um. Yeah, man, it, it all depends on where you go at, man. It, it, the politics, you know, well, coming. It can interfere um, a lot. I wanted. I took my son out. Um, you know, a story real quick. I took my son out of the, um, you know, to see, try something different. So right. I called up the team, tryouts, a whole month tryout, pay what I pay. I think it was like almost three hundred dollars just for tryouts. Damn. So, mm -hmm. of course, I get the email. He last cuts. They didn't pick him up. You know what I mean? So it's just like. We don't want to say no names. I'm, oh, yeah, I'm, I don't you know, too, we're right. the new guy. You know, I'm not saying yeah. my son is the greatest. Right, he, right. The kid know how to play. You know, right, I mean? like, right, right, right. So it's just sad because I'm like, why am I doing that? Yeah. I grew up in the inner city. Yeah, you know, I've made my teams better. So you know what, son, right. we're gonna go back to the neighborhood and you help your team. That's it. You know, yeah, play yeah. as long as you want, go far as you can. Yep. And it is what it is at the end of the day. Yeah. But I want you to be successful first, and I want you to be a better young man, you know? Mm -hmm. And all the parents, they love them. You know, if I need help, they pick them up, take them on games, whatever it is, you know? Because, you know, like I said, I'm a truck driver, so yeah, yeah. I'm not always out early. Well, what so. made you choose that path, of, like, uh, career-wise? Um, hey, you're a truck driver, too. We work together. Like, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. I, I know, but yeah. I know it's a common you know job. Because you know? the, the pay is more... Than usual from the other jobs, you I know. Got so you. Yeah. I, I I've been through a dark path from one time to one time. I'm not gonna mention what happened. I, I just was always focused on that, 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 that. Yeah. That I forgot about me because I was yeah. still young, you Proving know. You. Yeah, I was still young, so I threw away a lot of years. I know I had an opportunity to go back to college. I know I had, a, but sometimes you need that motivation. You need that mentor. Mm -hmm. You know, like. My parents, they go through what they go through. Yeah, yeah. You know, they got their own relationship. I'm a, I'm a grown young man now. Right. But I wish I did have that support that, yeah. no, get your ass. We're going we're gonna to go back to school, Bloomsburg, and right. we're going to figure it out. Right, right. You know right. what I mean? But, you know, one day my dad was like, oh, you don't go back to school. Uh, I think you should get your CDL. And I was like, you know what? Yeah, yeah. You know, so it's yeah. like I'm listening to my dad because he knows what's best for me. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. And that's the, the path I chose. And it was like. Smoking, drinking, partying, mm, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know <laughs> what I mean? So by the time you knew it, I was already 30 years old. <laughs> oh, shit. You know? That's you know, me, so. man. That's fucking me. <laughs> Holy shit. Don't, don't. That's why I'm going to get happening. you. Time going to get you, yeah, man. It will, man. Yeah. It definitely will. It is like you saw it. Like, you know, growing up in the inner city, it's rough. Yeah. And the thing is, like he mentioned earlier, there's so much talent in the inner cities. That get overlooked, mm -hmm. you know. There's guys that we should we grew up with players, and we'll play together in teams. They can make D one, D two any day, yeah. any god given day. No, yep. yep. or being even further if they if they wanted to. But the thing is, you're not gonna get looked at in the city, right? Right. You know. Right. Well, let's get it right. The depending, city of Philadelphia. De right. Depending on okay. it's also depending on the high school you go to. You know what I mean? You can go to your regular neighborhood school. We went to our neighborhood. The reason why I got looked at so much is because you had to be. You got to make a splash. You got to make a splash. Get invited to the All-Star game. Get invited to Carpenter's Cup where right. home base is full of college coach. My yeah. junior year, that's how I blew up. I and mean, I started getting a lot of letters. But if you're not making, you know, All-Star, you know, this, this, and that. First team noise, all Yeah, first team all public. Mm -hmm. They did. You ain't gonna get looked at because you know you then you'll be like oh this is jose carrero oh man this kid batting 350 oh we're gonna go see him you know what yeah, I mean? yeah. like that if you ain't making no noise they're not gonna see you yeah it's all about it's a numbers game because mm -hmm. i had the hits i was second or third my senior year home runs because i had this one monster which he's a good, a good friend of mine omar mm. he was a monster mm -hmm. okay and uh he was in first i was second or third but you know He's, it's a numbers game. You gotta make I a splash. Yep, yep. Just to get your yeah. your name in somebody's ear. Right. You get recognized. Yeah. And and definitely like 
and for us to be in our neighborhood school, you you had to you had to play well, man, so you can get looked at. Yeah. And then when you face better teams that's already got great players over there, yeah, you got to kill them. So then they'd be like, oh, these guys not oh, playing. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? So and then the thing is, we look apart. Like say for instance, we go to a game outside the city. Okay, yeah. No offense, but you know, you guys will be all tight pants, nice for the shirts. We going out there, baggy pants, baggy <laughs> shirts, and whipping his asses like nothing. No, no. Making things look so easy. Ground ball, double play, like nothing. Dang. Hitting the ball with some swag. And this is before the swag was a thing. Yep, right, yep, right. Before, you know, yep. we was doing that back in the 90s, early 2000s. Okay. I used, to, know, I used to love to talk my pitches, man. And, <laughs> when he pitched against and me. when we was in the high, bro, we used to talk shit. Dang. We was known to talk shit. It was mainly like five players mm-hmm. that do all the talking because the rest, you know, it right. wasn't about it, but, yep, yep. you know. Yeah, man. So it, it, it's like that. Affiliate, so much competition. You know what I mean? Like, I, I kid, I've been there and done that. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. can have it now. I'm not right. jealous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a hell of a player. Okay, but, but is, don't forget who I am. Yeah, <laughs> but if you think about it, what the one good thing that came out of our school, which those haven't mentioned yet, was our wives. Oh, yep. You know, oh. our wives. You know, I met my wife Natasha in school. Okay. You know, she's straight from Alaska. Yeah. New fresh yeah. meat in school. You know. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> you met her. She yeah. loves you. Yeah, yeah. You know. Amazing. Um, the same thing with Lois. She went to a different high school. She went to different, but she went to Kentucky. No, no, she went Walmart. to Edison. Oh, Edison. No, no, she went to Edison. Oh, oh, she oh man. man. She went to that school. Uh, oh, yeah, she went to Edison. Um, but, you know, she, she, they let her in our high school a couple times. She she popped up on me a couple times in high school. <laughs> the whole but, uh, you move on. When I went to college, we moved on. Right. Then, you know, I got into what I got into them for them for them years. Then when I left that situation, you know, I ended up going out. And then we reunited again after like 10, 15 years. Same here. Wow. So, um, yeah. Dang. One thing or another, the fence has crazy. always been there. Same, same story. Love, same, same everything. Results. Yep, and yeah. we got married. You know, That's intense. That's we've same. been together for a few years in high school. Then now it's uh, we about to have eleven years, five years married. Holy moly! Yep, yeah, same crazy. story. Same story here. Like you know, Dang. fifteen, sixteen years apart. You know, I was yeah. bouncing around from city to city because I was playing pro ball. Right. And, you know. That's when me and Los wasn't, you know. Yeah, we didn't see each other for, for, for a few, long time. For a few yep, years, yep, yep. Right. you know, because he was doing his thing. Like yeah, I said, he had a little black hole, you know. Yep. But I was bossing off from, like I said, city to city, and um, next thing you know, you know, me and my wife linked up through Facebook, and we've been together ever since. Oh, one thing led to another. <laughs> That's it. That's you right. Know, That's yeah. a beautiful thing, though, man. Yeah. When you got strong women in your life you know like they they they, they are backbone and um sometimes we we might not realize it but when i'm sitting here i appreciate my wife for everything she's done for That's me man same here everything man like um That's great. I, I, i'm an aquarius so it's hard to express myself more a and what? she wants that more Aquarius. Oh, like a sign? Yeah, that's yeah, my oh, sign. Okay. I'm Aquarius. Okay. So. And, and with me, I always, I always say this. If it wasn't for my wife now, like every time we got together, yeah. I, would, I would say this to my like when mom was alive. If it wasn't for my wife now, you know, I'd be dead or in jail. Oh. Wow. Why? Because I was balling out. Yeah, you got And we And we spoke said, so many times about this. Yeah. And meeting her kept me away from jail. Yeah. I stopped fighting. Don't get me wrong, I'm a hothead. Yeah. But, yeah, I know. you know, I got in trouble one time because of hell. <laughs> you know. We both but, can get hot-headed. But, you know, but thanks to her, you know, shout out to my wife and Natasha. Yeah, yeah. You know, but, you know, thanks to her, you know, I'm here, you know, living life in Florida and, you know, sweat, uh, you know, building our roots here. and Right. And, and that's, a like I said, a leap of faith. You took that chance. Yes. Took that chance. Because... When I see you now, you're a better person, man. You know, once you change from being a certain way and you go live better, you know what I mean? Like yeah. you said, that the little dark times ain't no good, man. Yeah, yeah. Because you be thinking stuff that you don't want to think about, you know? Like, right. 
But Man. God got us here for a reason, and you know we keep moving forward day yeah. by day. I know we bounce from like the past to the future, future past, but that's just the way we are. Yeah, right yeah, that's we, fine. We got so many stories behind us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, we want to hear them all. Uh, I think we're gonna take a quick intermission now. No um, problem. So, uh, this is gonna be part one to a series. Um, Let's go. We'll come back. Let's go. Thank you, Mr. Jose Carrero and, and oh, Mr. Carlos Munoz. Yes, sir. We appreciate you.